Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Gamer Promote YouTube channel and today we're checking out ARMSX2, the latest open-source PlayStation 2 emulator built specifically for modern Android devices. With native ARM64 support and a core based on the legendary PCSX2 engine, this emulator is designed to bring your PS2 classics back to life on your smartphone or tablet. Now, before you get too excited, this emulator is still in its early stages and isn't fully functional yet. Most games either don't boot or have major performance issues. But it's an exciting step forward for Android PS2 emulation, and with future updates, AR MSX2 could become a real game changer. So in this video, we'll see how it looks, what's working, what's not. I have tested a few games and how do you set it up in some settings and what you can expect in the upcoming builds. So let's get started. To download this emulator, head over to Google and search ARMSX2, visit the official GitHub page and download the initial release from the releases section. Once you have downloaded and installed, open the emulator and click on choose and create a folder where you want to store all the data related to ARMSX2 and click allow if emulator crashes reopen it. Next choose BIOS where from the folder where you have stored it. Next click on choose game folder and select your games folder and all of your games must be visible here. The ISO icon that you are seeing in the bottom right can be used to convert ISO format to CHD format for game compatibility. Now click on the menu icon to do some settings. In the menu section you will see all the options related to UI, adding game covers and refresh the games if you have added a new game into that selected folder. Now click on the settings and in general turn on full screen and you can adjust the frame limit as per your device refresh rate or just set it to 60 for better performance. In aspect ratio set it to stretched or 16 to 9. You can adjust the brightness of the game. Next you can set the on touch controls timeout or just turn on never to disappear. Next in graphics tab select the render as Vulkan. Set the upscale to 2x or 3x if you have high-end device for better game graphics. Set texture filtering to PS2 default. Interlace mode to automatic. Texture preloading to full. Blending accuracy to full. Next in the performance tab, set the CPU core to the translator. Turn on Show FPS and Performance Overlay to track the performance of the games. In the Controller tab, you can edit the controls as you want to configure according to your style. In the Storage and Data tab, all the details such as the game folder, ARMSX2 data folder. You can add a secondary game folder, and also you can import the game from the memory card. And in the Connection tab, you can sign in to your retro achievements, and you can connect to your Discord as well. All the settings have been done and applied. Now you are ready to launch your games. I have tried a few games such as Naruto Shippuden 5 and Spider-Man 3 Ultimate, but none of them booted in the emulator. So what are my final thoughts? This emulator still needs to be able to focus on the game compatibility, although it is forked from the PCSX2, but it is not meeting the expectations of the gamers. Since it is the initial release, I hope it will become better in the future updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment and also tell me the performance of the game if you have tried one or you are gonna try it. So I hope you people like this video, then please make sure to like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.